Yesterday was a beautiful day. It was sunshine and blue skies. It was cold. It was very cold. <laughs> it was in the low 30s. But I thought, regardless of how cold it is, it's so beautiful outside. Let me grab my camera and my tripod and go to the park and let me do the best I can to film something and produce some content to be able to share with you in this channel. And man, I spent over two hours trying to find the right shots, trying to get the lighting correct. It was so beautiful outside and yet I struggled with finding a place to shoot where the sun wasn't overexposing the camera. And I, I could not find 10 minutes worth of filming that was usable. And I ended yesterday extremely frustrated. Like, I cannot believe it's so beautiful out here. And I spent all of this time videotaping. And at the end of the day, I don't have anything to show for it. I didn't accomplish what I intended to accomplish for the day. And boy, last night was, was a difficult night because I was up and down with my emotions, so frustrated that I wasn't able to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And boy, that got me to thinking, there are many days when I don't feel like at the end of the day, the things on my to-do list, the people that I wanted to spend time with, uh, uh, whatever I wanted to accomplish in the day, I just didn't get it done. I mean, I still have 24 hours, seven days a week, just like everybody else. And there are some days where, my goodness, I wonder what in the world did I do today? I felt like I did a lot of activity. I checked off a lot of boxes. I marked off a lot of items on my agenda. And yet I get to the end of the day and I don't feel accomplished at all. I think there's one thing that we all have in common, and that is we want to be productive. We want our activities during the day to matter. We want to accomplish something. We don't want to spend a lot of time working at something and, and getting our education at something and saving money at something or going to the gym and working out. And then we do it over and over and over and over. And at the end of it, we haven't moved the needle. We haven't accomplished those things that we want. We, we haven't measured up to our own standard for success, which means it's important ahead of time to define success. And this morning I got up and I, I thought about how beautiful yesterday was because of the storms that have been coming through where I live. I haven't had a lot of uh, mornings and afternoons with the sky completely blue, no clouds. It was so lovely, so beautiful. And for a couple hours there, I really didn't consider that. I didn't focus on the fact that I got a chance to get out of the house, get some fresh air, and enjoy this beautiful creation that God made. It's refocusing, it is re-energizing, it is redefining my measurements for success. I did get some things accomplished. Maybe I didn't get everything accomplished, but I need to tell myself to not spend so much time focusing on what I didn't do and celebrate the things that I did do. That's gotta be my rhythm. That's gotta be my default. I need to be the type of person that looks for opportunities to celebrate what I did, what I have accomplished, those open doors of opportunity, and not spend all my time sulking because of the two hours that I spent. And I gotta tell you, after I looked at the footage, I was beyond frustrated. I was kind of ticked off because there was nothing that I could use. But I will tell you this, I did learn some things about lighting and overexposure and how to use this camera a little bit better than I have in the past. It's not a pro camera, but it's what I have. 
and I can celebrate that I learned something. I did grow from the experience. And maybe today I'm a better person because of what I experienced yesterday. I really do appreciate you traveling with me. Thanks for the subscriptions. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that subscribe button. Uh, I need as many subscriptions as I possibly can only because I want this channel to bless as many people as possible. And I can't thank you enough. Thanks for traveling with me.